hard, hard. I've given you, I've given you so much. I've given you so much. Smell my hands. Smell my hands. Food, food for you. Hi and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we are going to pick up where we left off on the front row. Now we've already already done an inspection on the red hive. We've inspected everybody else over here with the exception of the white and blue. And today we are going to do a full inspection. Well, at least until we find the queen on the green hive here. And then I'm going to give some pollen sub to the green hive. And then we'll finish up by giving some pollen sub to the red hive. We're just going to sprinkle it on top like we did the rest of them. Uh, for you, this was last week for me. This was yesterday. Um, we are waiting on rain. It is Thanksgiving. Uh, the, the food is cooking. I'll be eating shortly. So with all that said, let me get my, my veil on and the smoker's already lit. We will uh, we will get going. Gloves, big gloves. Pokey dokey, hokey pokey. Let's, uh, let's see what we can see here. Got a hole in my glove. That's not good. It's just big enough for a bee to crawl up in there and then sting me right in the hand. I won't be able to do anything except swat it to get it out. Let's, uh, let's unplug this hive and go inside and see what we can see. Now again, remember, these bees these bees were kind of hot. That's why I've been avoiding this hive. I wanted to save it until the end because I don't want to get lit up. But I've taken all precautions with the exception of a jacket because I gave it to my buddy Brady for his beekeeping career. I do anything I can to encourage people to, to do bees. Now he's doing bees and he's doing it with my, with my jacket. Hello. All right, there are, ooh, that's a, uh, that's a yellow jacket, so this one is going to get the old smash -roni. Ugh, gone. I don't like yellow jackets. I don't like them at all. I don't know why it landed on me. That was, that was not good. It was not good at all. All right, let's get in here. Hello, ladies. Please be kind. I am your friend. I am your friend. I am your friend. Hello. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give them a little bit of pollen sub right now just to keep them occupied. I'll give you more when we're done. Got it on my hands so I smell like, <laughs> I guess I smell like food. All right. Okay. But the bees appear to be concentrated all throughout this hive. I mean, this hive is this hive is strong. This was my strongest hive. Holy moly! I don't want to. Oh, I'm, I'm tearing open, tearing open honeycomb. Okay, we're gonna try to go with the next frame first, and then we'll come back for that first one. There we go. There you go. Okay, coming out. Coming out. Boy, they have got this frame loaded with honey. Oh, honey and brood. Okay, I got to be careful not to roll the queen. Holy moly. This frame looks like it's summer. Okay. Easy. Easy. I don't know what that side looks like. I'll let you see here. Oh, these bees are already angry. You can see all the comb there. Here it is all of the top. And the little of the bottom. And this side is both top and bottom. Wow. Okay, I don't see the queen. I certainly see evidence of her. I would like to take a look at just a couple more frames. These bees are already just, they're going crazy already. They're going crazy. Let me, let me get some smoke on them. Hi, girls. It's okay. It's okay. Hello. We're just going to have a look. I'll put you right back down. I'm not here to hurt you. Okay, this is all resources on the back side. And I do not see Queen. I don't know what you see on the front there. I'm gonna take a look. That's all resources, no Queen. I'm put that right back down in. We'll just go to the next one over. See if we see the Queen on it. Boy, the guards are awake. 
in this hive. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we have more brood on this frame, on the back. I don't know what's on the front. Oh, there's our queen. Right there in the middle of that frame. She's marked. And she is laying on this side. We have brood on this side. Capping. We have brood on the other side. Okay. Well, this is going to be a quick video today. We're going to go ahead and close this up. Pull this over. Get some more smoke. These bees are on me. They're not happy. Okay, okay, here you go. I'll be out in a second. Here comes your frame. Entire frame of brood. That is fantastic. Okay. Nobody's getting rolled. We're going smooth and easy. 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 Okay, I have a bee stinging my thumb down there, but stinging my gloves. My only concern is the pheromone that she released when she did it. Oh, there she is. Yep, she left a she left a stinger in my gloves. I've got bees. I've got bees on the attack here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, throw some more pollen sub on here, and then we'll close this hive up. Here you go. Your queen looks like she needs this. There you go. This should make you happy. This should make you happy. There you go. Right, here's your heat box. Or your controller, anyways. Well, these bees are pouring out of here. These guards are. On this back side. Holy moly. Here we go. But I think. I think that pollen sub slowed them down. Just a smidgen. Oh, the sun is out. Beautiful. We'll take it. And I'm pretty certain that once I close this up, these girls are going to calm right back down. Because they've got a bunch of pollen sub to deal with now. Which should make them happy. Hey, you notice? The guards are no longer on me. Unbelievable. Well, there's one that didn't make it. Excellent. That is fantastic. Again, this hive, strong, strong, strong. Now let's give the other uh, red hive some pollen sub and we'll be done. Short video today, yay! All right, we are just going to make this quick. Quick and painless, I hope. Now I still have one guard from the green hive on me. I mean, we got rid of most of them, but what are you gonna do? So you might be asking the following question. Why is the bug farmer giving his bees dry pollen sub? Well, okay, so I do have a hive beetle problem here. That's, that's well known throughout the beekeeping universe that bug farmer has a bad hive beetle situation here. I mean, it's not as bad as Mike Berry's down in Louisiana, but, but my hive beetle situation is pretty bad. And they really freak me out, so I, I'm always smashing them. Anyways, pollen patties tend to provide a place for the, for the bees to... For the, the, the beetles to, to lay their eggs and the larva starts crawling all over it and, and it usually turns into just a breeding ground for the, uh, for the hive beetles and I don't want that happening inside my hives, especially the front row because they're heated. So, uh, so that's why I'm sprinkling dry pollen sub inside the hive as opposed to throwing pollen patties in like I've done in previous years. I mean, if you remember one of my first years or maybe the second season I was beekeeping, you can go back and look. I made them Christmas pollen patties and they were green and red and it was wonderful and beautiful. And I'm sure the bees, I'm sure they dug it. Unfortunately, the hive beetles dug it too and I just don't want that to happen. Let me uh, stop talking and start smoking because talking instead of smoking could have me opening the top of this thing and then it would look like that 23 stings in under a minute. I forget the smoke and then they get me and I'm I'm running and stinging and I don't have a camera focused on me running away so you wouldn't be able to see it and it wouldn't be as wouldn't be as fun for YouTube which means it wouldn't be fun for me at all you know at least I kind of stunk when I got stung all that time all those times but, but at least it was funny we got, we got a lot of it on camera because of the way that I had my my camera situated this time I'll just have to stand here and suck it up and that won't be fun oh okay hey 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 I'm your friend I'm your friend. I'm here to come bearing gifts. I have a treat for you.
for you. Here you go. Here you go. Take this to your leader. Take this to your leader. Who happens to be the queen. Feed her well. Make me some bees. And there you go. This guard doesn't know what I've just, I've just give smell. Smell my hands. Smell my hands. Smell my hands. It's for you. Okay, here we go. Let's close this up. That was quick. That was easy. I'm pretty sure they will come to the top of this box and collect that pollen sub. Hello, bee. So everything will be right with the world. Speaking of right with the world, now, this is not a long video, but I have a couple of stories to tell. So, has anybody seen A Christmas Story? And if anybody out there is not raising their hands, I, you know, I don't believe you. You've, you've seen A Christmas Story. Great, great, wonderful Christmas tradition. I think, I don't know whether it's Christmas Eve or is it, I guess it is Christmas Eve. That they play it for 24 hours. Anyways, A Christmas Story. Great flick. Now... For those of you who are unaware, and some of you may be unaware, that uh, that they've come out with a movie called The Christmas Story Story, and this is this is the cast of The Christmas Story. They've grown up, and now it's the it's the son's turn to be the father, and he's got two children of his own. Sadly, the father and mother, the ones who played the original characters, have have passed, and they had someone playing the mother. And the father, he he was he had died at the very beginning of the. Uh, I'm giving you a lot of spoilers, so spoiler alert. Anyways, the the mother's been replaced with a different actress, and the, the father is 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 dead, which sets up the story that the son has to do the Christmas for his children as his father did for him. The first 30 minutes of it is, is I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not that good. Um, they, there's a whole piece of it they could have left out. You'll know what that is after you watch it. But the rest of it is is pretty doggone good, so you might like it. I mean, it's not going to be played 24 hours in a row. It's not going to replace a Christmas story, but a Christmas story Christmas, it's it's worth a look. It's I mean, over the holidays, it's worth a look. So if you haven't seen it, I, I recommend you at least take a look at it. It's not as good as the original, but but there you go, and there you have it. All right, your brick, my lady, is right here, and I think we're done. All right, I would take off my veil and say goodbye, but I can't because I've got a guard on me. So let me just say, I appreciate you stopping in to have a look. I really, really do. And I'm working hard for you making these videos. So uh, share me with the world. Uh, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if you have something to say, by all means, please comment, leave it down in the bottom. I will respond to your comments. I do not filter my comments. When you make them, they land in the bottom, I'll respond. Love me, hate me, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We can we can find common ground in the dialogue or agree to disagree. Anyways, so uh, do me a favor. If you have something to say, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Take a moment. Just one. Just takes a second. You know where you know where the button is. Now, if you're on your TV, you know where the button is too. But if you're on the computer, it's it's looking right at you right now. You don't have to do anything. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. And I'm sure that by the time you're seeing this, it's probably midwinter and you're saying, what's that guy doing raising bees? It must not get that cold in Georgia. Well, it does get cold in Georgia. It's just mid-November right now. It's, it's, it's Thanksgiving Day here, um, and there is turkey waiting for me inside. Anyways, with all of that said, take care, be happy, and I will see you next week. See you later. Another, another, another quick tip. Now, this tip came from from Blanchard, from William Blanchard. I think he's out in Iowa or something. Or Idaho, Iowa, somewhere. He's out that away. He's out west, uh, northwest. Anyways, this is his tip. I'm using it right now. I use it ever since he put it on his channel, which he hasn't made a video in a long time, so we, we really don't know what's going on with his bees. But a cork. That way you get to save, you get to save all of your fuel inside your, uh, your smoker. It's fantastic, just kind of snuffs it out. I'm gonna put it right in my cabinet just like this. Then we'll have another video where I burn down my cabinet. But anyways, William Blanchard, if you haven't, if you haven't seen his channel, go out and find him. Look at his videos. Um, you don't have to let him know I sent you. It doesn't really matter. Just, just go away. He has some good content. A lot of neat bees. Encourage him in his comments to, to make more. So, so there you have it. Now, goodbye.